everybody, my name is Paweł and welcome to Cost Viewer Building Trees Tutorial, part 1. In this video I'm going to show you how to build hierarchy of objects, also known as trees. First, we'll take a look at how to build small trees, which is something I advise you to do directly in Cost Viewer. In case you have larger trees, I recommend you watch tutorial part 2, in which I demonstrate in details how to import trees from Excel. So let us create our first project and in it we are going to create a first tree. Let's call it my new tree. If you want to rename your tree just right click on the top. and choose your new name. Now it's time to build some nodes in the tree. We start with creating top of the tree. And now let's add some more folders underneath it and a few leaves. Or actually a few keys. As far as keys are concerned I recommend you create and name leaves first. Following that you create keys. Because if you follow that order keys will inherit leaves names so you won't have to type in names again. Good practice is to keep keys names identical to leaves they are attached to but you can name them any way you want. You can also highlight a wide range of nodes and add nodes to them in one go. You can of course drag and drop notes around and you can also use a handy shortcut to move notes around. The latter is especially useful if you work with larger trees. And let's park it for now. So what do I have here? I've created a tree and in it I build a few nodes. Think of a tree as a sheet in worksheet and nodes as cells in Excel. In a model you can have as many trees as you like, similarly to Excel in which you can create a high number of sheets. Regarding the nodes, there are three main types of nodes you can play with and they have the following features. Take your time to learn them. Additionally, each node has lots of attributes represented by columns there are dozens of columns available in Cost Viewer. Some of them are non-editable and predefined, whereas others can be fully customized by you. Green shaded columns named N1 to N20 are the ones which store numerical values, and blue shaded ones named T1 to T20 can store text information. These columns can be named and customized by you. Let's add two columns and let's call them mileage and size. Of course you can drag and drop columns and ship them to your liking. Let's save the tree now. It is important to mention that the moment you add a node this information is stored immediately. 
However, values entered in a node are not saved automatically, not until you press Ctrl S. You can also clone your tree by choosing Save As. And if you don't like your tree, you can delete it. And if you don't like the note either, you can remove it. In this example, we have shown you how to build hierarchy of objects, also known as tree. As you can see, this is pretty intuitive and fast process. However, should you have really, really large and complex trees, I encourage you to watch Building Trees Part 2 tutorial, in which I explain in details how to import trees from Excel. Thanks for watching, I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time. Bye!